me back again. Mm. Any of you like that's been watching me for a considerable amount of time may remember the video that I made where I had to pull up on the tenants at one of my flats. And I had to give them a good talking to because I didn't like the state and the condition that they were living in. Now, I've uploaded that video onto TikTok and got a lot of pushback, ruffled too many feathers in the blood clot space of TikTok. And I'll say in the comment section, maybe 20% if I'm lucky, support and, you know what I'm saying, agreement of the way I dealt with the tenants, but 80% straight hate. Yeah, whether it was the way I was dealing with the tenants or they figure I'm chatting rubbish, whatever in it. Yeah, so I've got more hate than support on this video. Um, yeah, the people then on TikTok in the comment section, they didn't like the way I was dealing with the tenants and that. What they don't realise is that property, I renovated that property from scratch on my own. From scratch, I fitted a new bathtub. I fitted carpets, I fitted tiles on the floor, on the wall. New paint, new electrical sockets and light switches and that. Spotlights into the blood clot ceiling. All myself. I only got a man to come and do the gas safety check because I'm not qualified to do gas safety certificates and that. I renovated that property from Ross Clark scratch. Fresh. You could eat your food off of the bathtub, or on a bath, in the bathtub, you can eat your food off the tiles of the floor, the kitchen unit, whatever in it. Fresh. I got OCD. I went to this property after two, three weeks of them moving in some students from abroad. It looked like they'd been living there for about three years. The place was so dirty. I went in there, there was just stench in the air. The place did not feel fresh no more. I went in the bathroom, I don't smoke weed, I don't smoke cigarettes, I ain't a fucking addict. Gone in the, in the bathroom and, that, and I can smell this aroma of nicotine and smoke in the air. I'm seeing ash on the fucking sink. I'm seeing a cigarette burn mark on the toilet seat. When have you seen a cigarette burn mark on the toilet seat? My brother and my sister watching this right now. The fuck? Anyway, obviously I went down there and pulled them up. Now. There were some people in the comment section, I might go through a couple of comments and that, whilst I'm doing a reaction to this video. Certain man was saying, ah, oh, how can you go to the yard and tell them they can't smoke, it's their yard? They don't understand there's such thing as a tenancy agreement. I specifically said in the tenancy agreement, let alone the ad on Gumtree, no smoking, no trainers in the house, on the ad. They came for the viewing. I told them, no smoking in the yard. No trainers in the yard. Yeah? When they came in, they had to take off their shoes to view the property. So therefore, you would think, no shoes in the property, yeah? Then, uh, the tenancy agreement also said, no shoes, no smoking in the house. So they've been, they've been informed three times, let alone two times, yeah? And they still decided to break the fucking rules, blood. And what happens when you break rules in society? You get punished. Whether it's severe, whether it's a minor, you get punished, you get told off. These people need to realise, yeah, my property is like a workplace. I am the manager. I am the boss. I am the landlord. They are like the employees. They are the tenants. The property is like a workplace. I'm the boss. I'm the landlord. They are the tenants. They're like the employees. If they break the rules, I will tell them off. I will have to enforce the rules and that. So obviously, man, I had to roll out there and tell them off. And yeah, maybe I could have been a little bit nicer with them. But who gives a shit? You broke the rules. At your workplace, if you break the rules, there will be consequences and repercussions. On the streets, if you break the rules of society, there will be consequences and repercussions. Certain man watching this right now, your girl does not need to respect you. Because if she doesn't respect you, if she disrespects you, there's no consequences. So therefore, why does she need to respect you? Anyway, man, let's get on with the video. So I've just entered the property here. Yeah?
Yeah, yeah. So why is the carpet so filthy? Why is the carpet so dirty? It's, it's Was someone wearing trainers in there? No, man. You sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Alright, so there was some waste man in the comment section saying, oh, the carpet wasn't even dirty, the carpet wasn't even dirty. Sometimes cameras don't do, don't, don't, um, sometimes the camera quality don't do the, the footage much justice, you know. You know, certain times, yeah, you've heard of people are not photogenic, yeah. There's certain times, yeah, the camera don't do it justice and that. I remember I was recording a, a spider that I found in my sink upstairs in my bathroom that was fucking massive, but the camera made it look tiny, blah. I'm telling you, this spider was fucking big, blah. Yeah, so one guy was trying to tell me, ah, oh, the carpet wasn't even dirty. Was you in the place, motherfucker? Yeah, I could tell that people have been walking on the carpet with muddy shoes and that. Yeah. See, the main, yeah, the yeah. main, the main issue is this. Yeah, Obviously, you lot have cleaned it now, yeah, it? yeah. So who was smoking in there? Which one of you lot's friends was smoking in there? We, we both did, and like we yes. had a friend over. He had some things going on. Yeah. So we told him don't do it, but he closed the door. He was doing it inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So whoever you lot bring in the house, you're. I mean, how are you bringing people into your home, the place that you live, and they're not respecting the rules, blood? Responsible for yeah, them, yeah. yeah. You know, grown up yeah, men, yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you bring in someone and they cause damage, yeah. it's down to you, not I them. Know, yeah. Know. Obviously, yeah. they're grown up men, but this is yeah. your house where you live, yeah. And you will notice, yeah, like the way I spoke to them wasn't even that bad. Okay, I came in there with an air of authority because I am in authority. Yeah, <laughs> like. They're acting like I was shouting and raising, I didn't raise my voice. I didn't swear at them. The hell, man? Yeah, I, okay, I may have spoke to them as if they're beneath me. Blood, you did, you broke the rules, blood. That's what you expect. Uh, why, was, why, why was that panel over there? And as I said before, I wear, I, I, I don't, no trainers are allowed on in the property. So what I do is I put on shoe covers. But why was that panel over there? Like, you know, like when we sit, like it keeps falling out, mate. Mm. I don't like if, if our like, legs turn in, like, it must keep falling out. So, we like if we touch here, it's yeah, yeah, coming yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Ah. And ah. we step in there. Uh, nah, nah, if we touch, our legs touch this the, side. The reason why I thought it was you that was smoking in here, because I didn't go in your room, yeah? Both of your room doors open. I didn't go in. Mm -hmm. I could see a cigarette box on the floor, mm -hmm. yeah? And obviously, it was the same one as that. Now, I don't know if it was exactly the same, but what I'm saying is from there, it looked like it was the yeah, same yeah. one. Yeah. And then when I've gone in the, the kitchen, yeah. Yeah. I see, yeah, well, obviously, you've cleaned it now, then you've cleaned the bin, but that bin was filthy. <laughs> The bin was filthy, blood. It looked like they were just throwing the food on top of the fucking bin. So it's one of them bins with a flap. So you kind of push the plate in and you scrape the food so it kind of, it, it flips in. It looks like they were just throwing the food on top of the flap and hoping that gravity does its job. Fucking disgusting, man. Live like animals. The, the main issue was the, the, um, the tobacco and... That looks like a cigarette burn mark on the toilet. Silence. So you're not gonna have to buy me back a new toilet. I'll let you know. <laughs> right, in the comment section, someone was like, oh, how are you making them buy you back a new toilet? I didn't mean a toilet, I meant a toilet seat. Like fucking, I'm really nitpicking and holding on to every fucking word I'm saying and that. So anyway, at the end, when the guy left, I charged him £15 for a new toilet seat. Because you're not going to come into my property and damage something and not expect to be charged for it. Wear and tear, that's different. But I, I told them ex explicitly, no smoking. And they let someone in that smoke and they cause damage. So there's going to have a problem. You need to pay for it. How much it's going to cost? But that looks like a cigarette burn mark. I'm not going to touch it. Can we clean it? I don't know. You can try. Yeah. But you see when you're in the flat, yeah? If you do any cleaning, mm -hmm. well, you're supposed to be cleaning the floor now and then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? When you clean the floor, yeah, don't use any bleach products. Only use antibacterial. Do you know what the difference is? Mm -hmm. you, you know what bleach is, yeah? Yeah, the white, white oh, color. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, I took the bleach out. All right, all right. You see this, yeah? Right, I'm going to take this, yeah? Because mm -hmm. I don't want no bleach products in the house. Because if this goes on the carpet, it's going to damage the carpet. Okay. Now, if it's antibacterial, uh -huh. like, you see this is antibacterial, yeah? yeah? Like, come on. Honestly, is my tone of voice at this point really that bad? 
And some people, oh, but you spoke to them like that in the beginning. If, if like, let, let's say for argument's sake, I was talking to them rough in the beginning. How many times have people have uh, had arguments with people and been shouting in people's faces and that, and raising their voice, and towards the end, they've calmed their tone down and they've fucking shaken hands and become friends with that person. Like, big fucking deal, blood. Okay. That, Can you use this to clean the floor? I mean, obviously, it's going to take a long time. It's better to use a, a, a bucket and a mop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. But don't buy any bleach. Okay. Because bleach is going to damage... If it goes near the carpet, it's going to damage the carpet. Whereas antibacterial, if that... It will be rid of... And you can see, like, the standard of the property was to a good standard as well. It's not like, man, like... Look, look at the tiles. These are brand new tiles. Brand new tiles. And bleach here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll okay, say bleach. Okay. Yeah, it will say bleach. Mm -hmm. So only use, if you use a bucket and a mop, mm -hmm. obviously add water to the substance, yeah? Only use antibacterial, don't use bleach. Because if you if you, if it spills by accident, it's mm -hmm. going to damage the carpet. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it's antibacterial, it's not going to damage the carpet, mm -hmm. yeah? So I'm going to take this. We'll try buying the same thing. So I'm back at my yard now. So yeah, man, that, that that's basically it, man. Like, I mean, how else am I supposed to deal with them if they're breaking the fucking rules of the property? Yeah, you signed on the dotted line to say that you was going to adhere to the rules of the property and you broke the rules of the property. So there is going to be some sort of consequences and repercussions for it. Yeah, you're at least going to get a good talking to. Now, let me just quickly go through these comments and that. Um, some, some, some idiot, one of the first comments that was left on it that actually got blocked by TikTok, but I actually approved it was, I'm going to report you. Fucking report me, blood. Dumbass. Uh, some idiot was like, oh, this guy's actually the biggest waste, man. You owe me a new toilet seat. So, if you owned the property, my brother, and someone damaged it, wouldn't you make them pay for it? Like, the hell? Uh, someone was like, oh, you're lucky they hardly speak in English, otherwise you would have got slapped off. Uh, so basically, there's a few guys leaving comments and that saying, ah, oh, if this was a certain sort of set of man, they would have moved to you or whatever. Blood, you lot, what you lot don't understand is I have guys coming to the property all the time. Guys who are older than me, guys who are bigger than me, guys that are potentially stronger than me. I don't give a fuck, blood. First and foremost, I'm on job. And secondly, I don't give a damn, really. I don't give a damn, blood. So many men come to the property. Before they even get to the property, I tell them, yo, it's 450 plus 450. I need 900 pounds, yeah, if you want to rent this room. I'm not saying you need to put down a deposit over the phone or even when you come for the view. But what I'm saying is you need to have that sort of money in your bank account. If you haven't got 900 pounds in your bank account, don't even bother come for the view. And I have people put down the phone. I have grown ass men, two of them. They might be bigger than me. They're older than me. It doesn't matter. When they come to the property, I told them, blood. Well, I don't say blood. I'll... Rent needs to be paid on time every time. If you fail to pay the rent, I will serve you your notice and you have to leave. I don't give a fuck. What are they going to do? If they want to step to me, well, they will get cracking right then and there in the flat. I don't give a fuck. Honestly, you lot might think man for some YouTuber, blood. That no, I, I I get greasy with people. Trust me. If you came to this estate, blood, you people on this estate, they know me. They don't know my name. Well, I don't know, but they don't know me personally. But people know me on this estate, blood. Cause man's always checking people, having to knock on people's doors and that. Yeah, like I said, one some someone said in one of the comments, and how are you telling people to not smoke in their own yard? Well, first of all, it's my house. They are renting it, and like I said. The rules were no smoking in the property. I go to, what these people need to understand is I go to tenants' houses on this contract that I'm on. They smoke. I don't. They may indulge in smoking. Smoke weed, cigarettes. I tell the tenants in their own house. I ask them politely, obviously. Sorry, my friend, I don't smoke. Do you mind waiting until I finish then? And they oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Obviously, I've had a few people give me pushback and that. I say, well, look, I ain't continuing my work until you stop. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I'm not going to be afraid to tell someone not to smoke around me. Yeah, I don't smoke. I don't want to sm Imagine me. So imagine I go to a tenant's house and they're smoking in their bedroom and I'm in there for 15 minutes yeah, whilst they're smoking in their bedroom, yeah? Smoking weed. I'm going to smell of that weed. Imagine me going to the next tenant's house. Imagine me going to a white person's house or whatever. It doesn't matter. But how's it going to look? Me working in Northampton as a black man, going to a white person's house or a next tenant's house coming to their house stinking of weed blood. That's partly why I don't want to be around people that smoke weed. Plus, I don't like the smell of cigarettes and that. 
So they they gotta respect me. It doesn't matter whose house we're in. If someone comes over to my house, if I'm doing something they don't like, whether it's a friend, family member, or a workman, if they ask me politely to stop doing that, I'll stop doing that if I can. You gotta have respect for people. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you are. I at my mum's house, we don't swear around my little sister. That's at my mum's house. This is my house. I paid a mortgage. I own this house. No one could tell me nothing. If my little sister comes to this house, remember, it's my house. If my little sister comes to this house, I'm not swearing around my little sister. Do you know why? Because i got to respect my little sister's presence. I'm saying if my sister came here alone, not with my mum, because obviously I've got to respect my mum. No, if my little sister came here, if I brought her up here or whatever, she, I need to respect her presence. So I'm not going to swear around my little sister, even though it's my house. I renovated this house. I paid a mortgage. It doesn't matter. You've got to respect people that are around you. It doesn't matter if we're in my house, their house, that house, planet Mars, fucking the Milky Way galaxy. It doesn't matter. You've got to respect people. Um, so some idiot was like, oh, he's a shit landlord. Should, should have left the house in the state. Uh, oh, someone left a racist comment. I ain't going to say what they said. But um, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of people talking some crap. Um, yeah, man, man are talking about, yeah, so someone's like, yeah, real life, love it, fairs, if they violate, they need to pay for the consequences and that, yeah. Now, there's this sort of like this war going on between landlords and tenants. I mean, this has been going on since the beginning of time and that, and I think some people think that some, a lot of landlords are these evil people, especially in times where... You know, like there's inflation, cost of living, interest rates are going up and that. I think some people think these landlords are these evil people that live in caves and live in dark places and that. And I sit there and wait for there to be a crisis. Yeah, and think it's a... <laughs> the interest rates are going up, cost of living is going up. <laughs> I'm going to bleed and suck the life out of the tenants. I'm going to bleed them and take all their money. Landlords are not evil people. Obviously, there are some bad landlords who will have a property and have, I've seen it, a three, four bedroom house with 25 people living in there. One bathroom, one toilet. They had, the guy had people sleeping in the kitchen. You know, like in the kitchen where you would potentially have a dining table or a spare second fridge. That's, there was a bed in there. They got two families living in one of the bedrooms. One family on one side, and next family on the other side. Crazy. So there are some bad landlords in that. But you know what? I'm actually a good landlord. Because although I'm hard... So I would say I'm a firm but fair landlord. Although I'm hard on them, any of my tenants, I tell them all the time, you can ring me 24 hours of the day. It doesn't matter what time it is. If there's any problems, phone me. If you're having trouble with your... Because obviously I, I do like, obviously, rooms and that. So if you're having trouble with anyone in the house, phone me, call me, I will deal with them. If you're having any trouble with any of the neighbours, phone me, call me, I will deal with them. So there's two sides to this, yeah? Me, I'm just a firm but fair person. And obviously, they were breaking the rules, so they see the firm side of me. But if they're doing what they need to do, if, they, if they're behaving themselves and paying the rent and that, they will see the fair side of me. I had tenants all the time phone me up. Oh, yeah, there's a power cut. And I'm like, all right, cool. Boom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to phone up Western Power and make sure whatever in it, yeah? And if they ain't got back to you, I'll be down in an hour and that. Uh, and this is all at midnight and that. Uh, so I'm just a firm but fair landlord, innit? Um, I've said in the previous video before, like, I've been doing this landlord thing for like on and off, I don't know, like four years or something like that. And let's say I've had like 50 to 60 months where my property has been rented out and that. Uh, I've never had no one not pay rent, ever, ever, ever. Never had no one not pay rent. It's because of the way I am. So, anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Done, man.